this. So I found this book in my garage and I thought it looked interesting. It's not one that I have really looked through before, unlike most of the books that I've showed you. It's Portraits of Loneliness and Love by Clark E. Mustaka.
ourselves, but rather we renew in contact with ourselves and discover who we are. That I like. Standing alone, walking on the edge of darkness, entering the night, sitting quietly in the sunlight, I can feel the sense of being separate, of discovering me. Sometimes the only way to escape is into the woods, a wood sparsely populated with shaggy trees. Yet when I close my eyes and sit quietly, I can feel the wind. I can hear the chirping of the birds. I can imagine the beauty of the forest, the mountains, and the sea. Sometimes I watch the movement of the clouds, and through my own self, create images, shapes, and forms that bring a wonder into my life. In solitude, a new spirit arises. Ah, loneliness and creativity. Oh, I like this picture. and individuality. The process may be facilitated through silence and isolation in a quiet place of nature Music, through spontaneous writing, in which the whole self guides the expression, through free drawing and painting, and often through physical release, free body movement, rhythms, dancing. He had known loneliness all his life, rejected by his family, forced into interests and goals that were alienating. He struggled at last through loneliness to his own identity. And though this meant pain and anguish at times, it also meant that his life now had meaning. His own real self was his contribution to life. His presence in the world was all he could offer, but that was enough. That was everything. Unique, intense, incomparable, never before and never again to be. Oh, that is cute. That is so cute. possibility of reprieve. Each child is a new being, a potential prophet, a new spiritual prince, a new spark of light precipitated into the darkness. Oh, that one's nice too. Loneliness and love. Loneliness is an inevitable outcome of real love, but it is also a process through which new love becomes possible. Love which is genuine is its own thing. It is unique, incomparable, truly only as itself. 
romance is essential. Exaggeration of either loneliness or love leads to self-denial and despair. Love has no meaning without loneliness. Loneliness becomes real only as a response to love. is not, was not then what we think of it now, but it seems that um, when they talk about loneliness here, they talk about introversion and knowing yourself, and you can't really know yourself unless you spend time alone with yourself, and especially next time.